Now that we know how to graph tangent, let's take a look at cotangent. So let's take a look at what points are cotangent undefined on the circle. We have to remember that cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. So that means that cotangent is x over y, the reciprocal. Cotangent is x over y. So we're looking at when our y value is 0, when sine of x equals 0. That is where we are undefined. So we're looking for when our y values are 0. So our y values tend to be 0 at this point here and also this point here. So those points are at 0 radians, at pi radians, at 2 pi radians, and so forth. So let's take a look at these values. So at cotangent of 0, cotangent of 0, that's x over y, so that's 0 radians, is right here. So x over y is 1 over 0. So therefore, at 0, we are undefined. Let's take a look at pi over 4. At pi over 4, they're the same exact value, so we know that's going to be positive 1. At pi over 2, that's x over y, we have 0 over 1. So at pi over 2, we actually have 0. At 3 pi over 4, here, we're looking at these values, x over y, the same exact values, so that means, and we have a negative, so that means it's negative 1. At pi, here, at pi, we have x over y, we have negative 1 over 0. So at this point, we're undefined. Then at 5 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4 is here, we get negative over negative, which is a positive 1. So notice that it will repeat. At 3 pi over 2, we have x over y, which is 0, so it's repeating. At 7 pi over 4, we get negative 1. And at 2 pi, we are undefined. So because cotangent is cosine of x over sine of x, cotangent of x is undefined for x values at which sine of x equals 0. And that is true for any multiples of pi. So the graph has asymptotes at 0, plus or minus pi, plus or minus 2 pi, and so forth. Let's graph this one. So this is a little different. Our asymptote is actually at 0. And the the other, we have at 0, then we, uh, the other one is at pi. Now for cotangent, we'll go ahead and put pi, and we'll draw our asymptote there. So our period for this graph is actually, the period is pi. Our x-intercept is here at pi over 2, plus or minus pi over 2. Then our next one will be plus or minus at 3 pi over 2. Next one would be plus or minus 5 pi over 2, and then you would see it would be 7 pi over 2, and so forth. So here is our graph. So take pi as a period. You cut it in half, pi over 2. Let's cut it in half again. That's pi over 4, and then this one would be 3 pi over 4. So we know that pi over 2, we are at 0. Pi over 2, we're at 0. Now at pi over 4, we're actually at positive 1. So it goes up on the other side. Negative 1 is here. So at pi over 4, we're at 1. Then at 3 pi over 4, we're at negative 1. So you notice that it's a little different. It's going up on the left and down on the right as opposed to tangent. So you just have to know the difference between the parent functions of tangent and cotangent. So let's take a look at the period and vertical asymptotes of this graph. So the period um, and the vertical asymptotes of the graph of the graph are this. We know that the period is going to be pi over absolute value of b. The vertical asymptote will have it at zero, and it'll also be at pi over absolute value of b. So it's the same. Our intercept will be at pi over two times b, comma zero. That's our x-intercept. Our halfway point will be pi over 4 times b a, and then the other one is at 3 pi over 4 b and negative a. Again, I provide you with these formulas that you could use, but let me show you how I do it 
without having to use that. We just want to think about cutting everything in half and in half again. So let's graph cotangent of a half x. This is the same as tangent. We want to think about our period. So our period is just pi over b. So period is pi over 1 half. So when you're dividing by a fraction, you just multiply by the reciprocal. So the period ends up being 2 pi. We know that our asymptote is here. 1 is at 0. And then what we want to do for cotangent is go ahead and do the 2 pi. So we're going to go 4 out. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Here is 2 pi. That is our other asymptote right here is at the 2 pi. Then, now that we know that, we're going to cut 2 pi in half. Half of 2 pi is pi, then half of pi is pi over 4, and then this other one will be, oh, sorry, not pi over 4, pi over 2, excuse me. Then this last one over here will be 3 pi over 2. Our x-intercept is the halfway point, so we're going to say that our, our x-intercept is here at pi. Then, let's see, we're not stretched any. And so we're just going to go up to 1 and negative 1. So at pi over 2, then we're going to go up 1. At 3 pi over 2, we're going to be down negative 1. Then you just finish the curve. Okay, and it goes closer and closer to those asymptotes and doesn't, rip and doesn't touch it. And so here we go. So we have it all graphed. If we want to talk about the transformation of it, we can say that it is a horizontal stretch by 2. So go ahead and try these next two examples for cotangent. Uh, just pause the video and then when you return I will have the answer for you. So here are the answers for these two cotangent graphs. So for the homework make sure you do it on paper. There's only four that you have to graph. Then you just have to, the other ones are writing an equation given a graph and that will give you more practice.